Hi folks, this is Ron with JNRH Railroad. This is our segment two of our upgrade on an Atherin F7 uh, Santa Fe locomotive. So, uh, as you can see, the camera gets zoomed in here. This is not necessarily a neat and orderly workbench, but this is the aftermath of several hours of uh, going through the process point out a couple of things uh, we've done since that first segment. One of the things, we installed some LED ditch lights. They're little bitty tiny things. There's one on each side. And as we said before, to do that we had to drill a hole. And what we used to fill up that hole with is some black heat shrink tubing. Very small and that works nicely. You really can't tell it. You really have to know about it. So, with that said, <clears throat> we did get the speaker installed. If our lights will show it. Let me see if I can position it around a little. We used uh, two sections of double face tape. We were trying to get uh, that speaker to stick out just a little bit uh, from the sidewall and then the capacitor that comes with that speaker, we uh, double face that uh, also, so that's tied down. The decoder, which is a 166 of Digitrax, is affixed to the side frame of the engine housing, and we again use double face tape. Uh, hopefully we don't have to take it out. If we do, uh, it is easy to get out and you can clean up the double face tape. One of the things I said I would show you on this Atherin chassis is the grounding uh, we did to pick up the black, let me try to get my tool, the black negative wire from the decoder. And this is to that screw that we showed you earlier that we had drilled out. It's not tamped, it's just a self-threading uh, screw, the one that came out of our junk box actually. And then where the old uh, conductive strip used to go between these connection rods here and over the motor and back down, this is the red positive going back to the decoder. That's the feed for it. And of course you have to jumper from the front one to the rear, so you want to be sure and pick up both uh, sets of trucks. Now, you've got to be aware of that you've got this armature that's going to be spinning down here, and there's a tendency for these wires to want to sag down. So before we do a final, uh, put this back in the case, we'll do a little tie wrap, very small, something to hold this wire so it doesn't get on that armature. Uh, the feed wires, which is going across the top of the uh, motor, use some very small heat shrink tubing. And again, you can buy this at Electronic Supply. It's a pretty small tubing, and again, you don't want to heat it up to crimp the wires. You want it to act as a slide, which is what we've got there. The method of connecting the hookups to the decoder involve the same principle. These are the very, very tiny uh, ground wires coming off the surface mounted LEDs, the black ones. And they're very small. These are the wires which are number 30 coming off the decoder. And they're fairly easy to work with. They're twisted together, soldered, and then we take the white heat shrink tubing, the small tubing, Using a soldering iron, we heat it with that. Don't use a heat gun, you'll melt everything. Uh, and when you get it hot, just take your long nose pliers, put a little pressure there, and that'll put a crimp in it. It won't cause any problems with the wire, but it'll, it'll keep that cover from falling off. We did that on several points, all of them in fact. Let's see if we can get down here show you the mess we've got. Now, remember I, in the other video I talked about those resistors that come on those surface mount LEDs. They are a problem to deal with uh, any way you look at it. So I've used uh, 
heat shrink tubing to tie three of them together in this case and two of them together here. One of the tips I'd suggest is worth doing. I took a yellow paint pen and I put a yellow stripe on that particular positive feed and it is the red flashing light on top um, so I know where it was and what circuit I wanted to hook it to. Again, this where we've used this tubing as a sleeve to feed these wires through to try to keep, keep them out of the way. Same thing over here. So you, as you see, we can slide that tubing down and we'll use that to dress out the rest of the compartment. Now all we have to do is figure out how to get this, um, for lack of a better description, explosion of the spaghetti factory or wires back in this cab without getting in the armature. Uh, we have tested the unit out. We took it over to the track and uh, with it in this fashion, all the functions are working and uh, forward reverse functions are working, lights are working, so it's safe to put it back together. If it doesn't work when we get it shoved back in the container, then we know we've knocked something loose. Well, that pretty much uh, wraps up uh, our session on this. We hope that there's been some helpful tips and maybe yours goes better than mine does. <laughs> it just takes a while. Thanks for watching. Come out and see us. Bye.